Hello, I'm State Representative Kirk Pearson. Thank you for joining me for my legislative update. First, I want to introduce you to my student page this week, Autumn Abbott of Cedar Woolley. Thank you for joining me this week and for your help around the legislature, Autumn. Can you tell the folks where you go to school and what grade you're in? I go to Cascade Middle School in Cedar Woolley and I am in eighth grade. Eighth grade. What made you decide to become a student page? Um, our teacher showed us a video about it and she started talking about it and it looked really interesting so I signed up for it and I got in. Well neat. And what have you liked best so far? I like working on the floor. I think that was most interesting. Yeah, and you like working in the building here? And yes. Yeah. This is my favorite building. It's your favorite building. Well, thank you so much for your very hard work here in Olympia and being a page. And if you have children also through the ages of 14 through 16 who would like to be a page in Olympia for a week, please contact my office for information. The 2012 legislative session is now in the fourth week of the 60-day session and there is yet to be any action taken on the state budget to address a gap of $1.5 million. This is extremely disappointing since we only have until March 8th to pass a budget and adjourn on time. We must take action quickly to ensure we achieve the savings we need and so that we don't have to spend money on other cost, another costly special session. On the last update, I told you about a health care bill I'm working on, House Bill 2303. This bill would address pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs, who negotiate with large drug companies to get rebates on prescriptions, many of which are name brand drugs, which are far more expensive than generic brands. It might surprise you to know that PBMs are the only part of the healthcare industry that are completely unregulated. My goal is to allow for some state oversight to ensure consumers are getting the very best deal they can and that health care plans reflect that. House Bill 2303 received a public hearing in January and some of our local pharmacists came all the way to Olympia to share their thoughts and offer their support for the bill. Many folks agree that more oversights over PBMs is critical to patients and our local pharmacies who assist them. Why there's been a lot of support for the bill, it died in committee this year. I will continue to work with consumers and our local pharmacists to ensure we address the prescription drug costs and how we ensure consumer choice in the healthcare marketplace. I also co-sponsored House Bill 2216 to increase the penalties for vehicular homicide and assault while driving under the influence. Under current law, a person who is convicted of killing someone as a result of drunk driving or high on drugs receives a maximum jail sentence of two and a half to three and a half years. Under House Bill 2216, the jail time would increase to six and a half to eight and a half for a person convicted of killing someone while drunk or high behind the wheel. We can't put a punishment on the value of a life but we can put additional teeth in the law to give criminals convicted of vehicular homicide the sentence they have earned. If you plan to be on Olympia, please be sure to call my office to make an appointment. That way I can be sure to set aside enough time and a meeting space if needed for you or your group. As always, I appreciate your calls, letters, and emails. But for now, thanks again for allowing me to serve you. I'm Kirk Pearson, your local representative.